You look so much better than I do. What's your, what's your secret? A secret okay. is a uh, happy living. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the camera here. Great. Yeah, we can slide this set up to oh, make man, you hear I, I better. Just love the, I love to see this panel here. Yeah. Uh, Let me see what we've got. I'm going to just make, I'm just going to film a little bit as we're going along. Yeah. Because I need to see this as well. So this is the sort of, uh, great, okay. Yeah. So the so Mr. Rio Kim, good morning, good afternoon. Yeah, good morning. What what, what do we have? Tell, take me through it. Okay, uh, this is a, a new way of presentation of a yeah. smart world. Okay. So so far, every people using camera to send the video to the uh, to the internet, Zoom or YouTube. But the technology we are using is a little bit different. We we bring the teacher, we yep. bring the notebook, we combine in a virtual space. Right. And they are using the virtual camera. Yep. We send this one video to the smartphone. So what they are watching in smartphone, smartphone yep. has a one screen yep. where we can show both teacher and presenting material yep. and also online students and offline students. Fantastic. We have a Zoom. Okay. Uh, this, the, this video, Zoom screen. So whenever you want to show on the online students, you just bring the mouse here. Right. Okay, immediately they bring bigger. And then when you have uh, uh, offline students, for example, this is a camera for aiming in that side. Right. Okay? And then when you have a PowerPoint, just bring this one to here, then PowerPoint okay. screen coming out. So the, all the students just watching smartphone, where the teacher yeah. PowerPoint presentation there. Okay. But good thing is, Always we bring presenter's face very big. Okay. To make eye contact with the students. Sure, you teacher. look into the camera. Yeah, that, that's the secret how we make a best presentation okay. for every people. All right. So in, in the classroom, every student in the front has a bigger teacher and bigger presenting material. Right. In the rare students, very small yeah. presenter. For example, for this uh, conference room, about 1,000 people sitting there. Yeah. The presenter's face is too small. So we have this this method of showing this one on the project yeah. screen. They have a same same video there for bigger screen right. for teacher and also bigger screen for presenting material. This is a new way of presenting in the classroom. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I've been talking about the uh, the hybrid virtual classroom, and that's uh -huh. when you have students in the in the class, in the class yeah. and on the screen. Yes. Now, if I understand it, your facility is really designed for, I'm sort of in a studio setting here, and I'm not in the same space with the students. Exactly. Or do you have this where I've also got some students in the audience? Uh -huh. how, do you, how do you set that up? So we, we actually have a several methods how to make hybrid press. Right. So far, everybody, they have to be in the classroom to listen to the right. lecture. The teacher has to be in the same class yes. to meet the students. Right. Right now, everybody has a 5G, 4G online. Right. So video, uh, beautiful video going everywhere yep. in the world. And uh, as long as we make a presenting virtual classroom there, so yes. the students go to virtual class, right. where the teacher and teaching materials okay. there. This is exactly yep. what we are providing for virtual classroom. And so I can I can bring my students on. You said it was one area. Where do I the, see my students? The students, students in online, for okay. example. Now here, yep. this is the uh, students there. Okay, Kay? so this will be my students. students and, there. and I could do that via like teams, each student with their own. I could see five or 20 students. Yes, and okay. also they, they can stay in any place. Right. And then yep. you can, for example, this is a Zoom. Right. Here we have a Zoom, one camera from there we okay. can show. So five teams there. Whenever they have a question, they make a big screen there. Right. So it will show there. So I could bring one team in and they're all together. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, as a teacher, I mean, this to me is like a high-tech um, media production. You know, you've got fantastic camera, you've got fantastic software. How do I, as a teacher, teach in this environment? How do I focus on my, my the teaching and the learning? Yeah, because uh, you can manage all this teaching material by yourself. Okay. And also when you have a, a classroom, you, you just bring the uh, presenting material on yep. this, any screen, one of this screen. We can make a two screen, five screen, right. five virtual yep. electric whiteboard there. And then uh, once you have your notebook or once you have a lecture desk like this, you can manage all the input and output. Uh, you don't need any production uh, director or uh, okay. technical director. Everything is automatically from the machine. But you need a more visual screen like a 
Zoom here, another yeah. Zoom there. Yeah. You have a YouTube screen, you have a Facebook. Right. All this screen is an input for that device. Right, so, so it all comes show. into one. So this gives us a chance to go much further than just, um, what should we say, you know, PowerPoints and a static screen. Now we right. bring in social media, we bring in live stream, we bring in videos exactly. from outside. Wow, yeah. so I think the potential is, and I can also have a, a streaming video behind me sure, if I want. Sure. Basically, uh, right now we make a lecture desk. We make a right. notebook version. So uh, uh, that way, what we are claiming is watching that video yeah. is better than watching the local class. Okay. So when when you teach in the classroom, yeah. we take this video and uh, making recording, sending to another classroom. Yeah. I bet the remote class students has a be better engagement of the listening class. This is a very interesting challenge. Yeah. I, like, I, like, I like a challenge. So so once we really prove that, that method, yep. teaching remote, yep. so teacher don't have to be in the class, students don't have to be Maybe in the class. Maybe we can't be in the class, so therefore, yes. yeah. Yes. I can invite my students and I can say, we're not going to school today, we're going to the cloud. Yes. Come and meet exactly. me, in, we're going to have a lesson in the sure. cloud. That sure. sounds like yes. that sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, this machine, without any touching, yeah. they make a slightly moving yeah. out, moving in. Yeah. Not to make it boring, screen right. fixed one, but they have all the intelligent function of production people's doing. Now I have a, I have a, diff a challenging question for you. You know Richard E. Meyer and the, the, learn the multimedia principles. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with? Okay, it's research about how much information you put on the screen in uh -huh. order to... Uh -huh. I think it's very interesting because his, he says, keep it simple. Yes, more than and if I look at your beautiful things, it looks yeah. wonderful. <laughs> but the question is, does the student know where to look? Uh -huh. yeah, th so. that's, why, that's why the teacher always using pointer. So the, the, te the teacher, yeah, okay. Yeah, manage the pointer. So we, we always bring this pointer yeah. for students to watch where yeah. they should focus on. This is very yeah. important. Okay. So once you have this... Um, so then you can direct the student learning to certain things. Yes, because uh, the pointer yeah. bring the student's attention yeah, for to them to go thing. there. I yeah. see that, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a titling coming out there. Yeah. This is the note from your PowerPoint. Okay. So I would love to, uh, I would love to provide a lesson for my students yes. in, in this context and see yeah. how they experienced it. So... so uh, important thing is I really has a proof of what I am telling you okay I'd love to, yeah so once you prove you if, if you write the paper it, yeah that will bring huge change of yeah. the, the presentation industry okay. yeah, so far 200 years people use a blackboard yeah projector screen is a basically blackboard yeah. but what I'm bring here is a electric whiteboard virtual electric whiteboard virtual electric whiteboard, and yeah. virtual classroom yeah so the, that's the whole change of paradigm of class. Yeah. Every school. If well, that's what we're talking about. There's a there's a paradigm change in yes. what the class is. That's yes. I agree with that totally. Right. I think it's all loosened. It's changed. Yeah. And your wonderful setup here is one part. You're contributing to that change. Sure. So one, once we use this one in every classroom, yeah. The valuable teaching, all is recorded. Yeah. It, that will stay forever yeah. with the human history. Yeah, exactly, All the yeah. intellectual property from the school, from yeah. the conference center. But a pity thing is none of the video coming out there. Yeah. Now once you use this method for presenting, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to uh, bring the presenting technology yeah. in every notebook, every classroom. Fantastic. To make a different way of presentation, which yeah. really make a video uh, better than any uh, teaching conventional teaching method. Now you're talking, uh, because this is my question, is when is video better and when is per in person better? I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. not going either way, yeah, yeah. but I love your angle. You're, you're pushing for video can be better than... Yeah, video, yeah. but uh, you know the televideo is a video. Right. I'm, I'm talking about telepresentation. Right. Televideo is sending one video to another place. Right. Telepresentation is sending class from one place to another class. Right. So there's no telepresentation definition exists. Okay. Yeah. Telepresentation. Yeah. So we need to look into yeah. what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Telepresence. Yeah. If you if you make a Wikipedia sure. telepresence uh, from Cisco yeah, from yeah, the yeah. conference, telepresence means there is a teacher in the TV right. presentation the sure. projector. So two screens there. Yeah. And the repeated thing is the students don't know when when they should watch teacher, when they should watch the projector screen. Right. 
But here you're talking about telepresenting. Yeah, this is and a that, telepresentation. And, oh, telepresentation, and that has not yet been Wikipedia, defined. Wikipedia, nobody defined. Okay. So I, do I'm, you ha do you have a definition? The definition is this. Okay. So, so we need to screen? describe what the yeah. Yes. Maybe maybe I can send you yeah. my ID. You you okay. assign the the yeah. Wikipedia defining telepresentation. Okay. Yeah, another important yes. thing is smart class. Right. Everybody saying smart class, right. Google smart class, right. Samsung smart class. Yeah. What they're claiming is Google say, oh, if you use a Chrome notebook, this is smart class. Right. Samsung say Samsung smart smart, smart, yeah. smart class. My definition is classroom from smart device. Right. So this video, when you watch, yeah. you you are watching the virtual smart class there. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. Yeah. Yes. This is a. This is a. Everybody can agree smart class has to be done like right. this way. Okay. So once we put this definition in Wikipedia, it will be stay forever. Okay. And also once you wrote the paper, why yeah. this is better than normal conventional way of teaching. Yeah. This one is a big story. Okay. So next year, let's make a joint presentation l l l here. Well, I'd be very happy to do that. <laughs> Fantastic.